So at first, I would like to introduce uh, BitMan. So we were founded in 2013. Uh, we grew quite fast. Now we are uh, 2,500 employees uh, globally. Uh, we are one of the largest customers of the TSMC. Uh, we are focusing on the cryptocurrency mining ASIC and uh, also the AI ASIC. Right now, the latest uh, crypto mining ASIC, we already use the 7 nanometer processing technology of the TSMC. We are being shipped uh, billions of the uh, mining ASIC, and we started our AI chip development uh, from 2015. So uh, why we uh, step from the crypto uh, currency mining business to the AI business because we see the demand for AI computing power is rising dramatically. Uh, if you are look at the uh, 3.4 billion worldwide internet users, they generate a huge amount of uh, data uh, every day, every year. Uh, it takes a lot of computing power to process that. And also the 500 million cameras worldwide, it generates almost 10 to the 20 second byte data a year. So it's just like a critical uh, mining. At first, people use a CPU because it's general purpose. You can do a lot of different types of programming on it, and it's, uh, it's handy it's everywhere. But then uh, people will start to explore the parallel company power of GPU. So use the GPU for the crypto mining. But in the end, uh, you need to use the ASIC to uh, really achieve the high speed the ultimate low cost and low power. So we believe the AI computing will follow the same path. So that's why we built the, the dedicated ASIC for the AI uh, inference. We actually have already tapped out three AI chips already, two for the data center. And this latest one, BM1880, is our first uh, HAI uh, chip. Uh, this one is just a coprocessor, so it has to connect to the host device, for example, like camera SOC, through the USB or uh, Ethernet interface to exchange the data and to run the inference on our chip. So the main uh, market and application we are targeting on the camera, robot, or drone. But next year, uh, we will implement our own ISP, the image sensor <coughs> processor, into our chip. So our single chip could be a, a single chip solution for, for the camera. Uh, it could be applied to uh, the camera, robots, and drones. So you don't need to have uh, another host. And of course, we do a fast iteration. Every nine months, we'll refresh our architecture using the more advanced uh, processing technology to provide even lower power and a higher performance uh, AI chip. So the features uh, of our HAI solutions uh, is by its, uh, its low power, uh, high performance. So in our SOC, we implement a dual core ARM A53 and one single core RISC-V uh, CPU. We can support uh, DDR3, DDR4, low power DDR3, and low power DDR4, uh, 16 or 32 bits. Uh, our um, software tool can support the customer's own AI models. Our powerful TPU, uh, we call it Tensor Processing Unit. It's an ASIC for the AI inference. Uh, it's based on a systolic uh, array, uh, very similar as a Google's TPU. We have a uh, large on chips SRAN, uh, two megabytes. It can achieve one tops uh, at integer, integer eight uh, precision. Uh, if you have a lot of convolution layers in your uh, AI models with a winner grade acceleration, it can uh, achieve up to two tops. This chip is optimized for surveillance, so we have the image codec and the video decoder. So you can decode the stream video and uh, then inference on each frame. Uh, with a USB 3.0 and Ethernet, you can connect multiple chips on the same uh, system. 
so let's talk more about uh, the risk by core detail uh, in BM1880. It's a, it's a single core, 64 bit, uh, running at one gigahertz uh, CPU frequency. The ISA extension we support the IMA and FDC. Uh, the 14 point processor units can support both a single position and a double position. And we have the platform level interrupt uh, controller uh, support. Uh, we also have a uh, uh, 16 K bytes uh, L1, cache, L1 I cache and L1 D cache. So the FPU uh, is compliant with IEEE uh, 754 standard. It supports uh, F extension for the double position floating point, for single position floating point, and the D extension for the double position floating point. Uh, uh, like I just mentioned in the earlier slide, uh, the advanced interrupt uh, management uh, can suppose support flexible advanced interrupt and uh, for software interrupt, uh, building time primary interrupt and uh, external interrupt management. Uh, we also provide a, a debug port, uh, you can use uh, JTAG, uh, support uh, performance uh, monitoring uh, instruction. So we think of uh, one uh, scenario to combine the RISC V core and our uh, TPU and ARM for the AI applications. Uh, you can uh, connect the, the chip uh, to a microphone through the i s interface. So when it detects uh, audio signal, it would can, uh, can detect can do the voice activity detection, and, and then it, once the event is detected, it can interrupt and wake up the, the TPU and, and ARM for the following uh, AI inference application. And they exchange the data through the external DRAM interface. So we provide a comprehensive tour chain uh, for integrating the, the AI algorithm. Uh, we can support uh, multiple frameworks and the models and uh, layer operator. So our SDK and our uh, BNNet inference engine uh, can convert the uh, different types of uh, deep neural net models into our uh, highway operator. Uh, we also provide some simple uh, AI algorithm for the developers to, to use like face detection, object detection, and et cetera. And applications could be uh, ranging from uh, camera types of surveillance, medical image, or object detection for the smart retailer. So this slide shows the, the framework where we support. Uh, we support uh, very well on CAFE. So we are working on the uh, PyTorch support. Uh, the TensorFlow Lite support is ongoing. The layer operators, uh, we support convolution, full connect, relu, activation, pooling, softmax, and et cetera. The CN models we support are listed uh, on the right, the AlexNet, GoogleNet, VGG16. So if you develop the uh, similar types of uh, CN models uh, for the image and the video applications uh, would be uh, very easy to utilize our chip for, for those developments. And our BN kernel will support uh, different types of uh, tensor operations. Uh, so let's look at the, the products and the solutions based on our chip. Uh, so t for the developers and uh, customers to easily adopt our solution, so we make this uh, uh, the AI module for the camera. So its form factor is 38 by 38 millimeter. Uh, so it's very uh, easy to be accommodated in a common uh, IP camera form factor. It connects to the host camera system through the USB interface. So you can uh, transfer 
uh, trans transfer the the raw image data or the J uh, motion JPEG uh, to to the BN eighteen eighty, and to do the inference. The typical power for this system, including the memory and the EMC, it's around uh, two watts. And uh, we also make a neural net stick, so you can connect this stick uh, to a Linux PC through the USB interface. So it's easy for the developers to, to test and follow our SDK and our tool chain to convert their own AI models uh, to speed up on our chip. So BM1880 can also act as a standalone host system. That's why we developed this HTPU develop board. It has many more interfaces, uh, USB, Ethernet, uh, micro SD card. Uh, we also have an extension uh, connector that can uh, connect to the GPIO, UART, I2S, and uh, other interfaces to connect uh, different types of uh, sensors and the peripherals. So we can take a closer look of our uh, developer board. So our developer board is compliant to the 96 boards. So 96 board is the largest community uh, for the uh, open developer board. Uh, so uh, we can uh, support more uh, other connectors and the boards connecting to uh, our developer board for uh, more types of uh, applications. Uh, we also have uh, JTAG connectors for you to debug uh, the RISC-V core and our TPU. So this developer board comes with uh, one gigabyte uh, LPDDR4 and the eight gigabyte EMNC. So that's the detail uh, how, how we expect for the, the H developer board. So on the right is the expansion connector I uh, mentioned that's compliant with the 96 board. So, uh, it's easier for um, the developers. So we can uh, utilize this developer board uh, into two modes. So one is the USB mode, just treat the EDB as a device uh, connected to the host through uh, the USB. The, SAC, the SOC mode, basically uh, the EDB uh, worked as a standalone system. Since the EDB doesn't have a display, so normally you need to connect uh, to a PC through the Ethernet just to transfer the, the dis display data and to, di to be displayed on a laptop. So the workflow uh, is like this chart. So basically you have your trend uh, deep neural net models and uh, through our inference engines and uh, quantization tool you can uh, convert these models, maybe it's a floating point uh, 32 models into our uh, the highway code. Then uh, use API and SDK, uh, you can integrate um, this highway code uh, into your uh, applications and to realize uh, your deep learning uh, inference applications. So this uh, is an example of uh, using the uh, EDB for the, the face detection and the recognition. So we connect the, the UVC camera uh, to the EDB board through the USB and uh, the Ethernet connecting to the, uh, the laptop for, for the display. So actually we have a live demo in our booth also. So it would uh, detect the face and recognize uh, the identity if the, uh, the features of the face is in, in the database. Uh, so we can also use the EDB for object detection um, application. Uh, so make it as the uh, device mode, the USB mode. So the images can be uh, transferred to, to the EDB uh, through the uh, the USB. 
So on the left, uh, it's, it's used a BM1880 to running a YOLO2 model for the object detection. On the right, it's uh, the, the similar things, but it's done by uh, Intel i5 CPU. As you can see, using the ASIC, it has a much better efficiency and the performance. Uh, so to conclude, uh, so right now we have already shipped uh, three products in China. Uh, we'll ship uh, those products overseas next Q1. We're just waiting for the certification to be completed. And the USB AI stick, the AI module, and the EDB uh, are available in China right now. And we also expect uh, lots of customers that they will make the AI camera based on our solution. Or it can be an Ethernet box to connect to the IP can uh, to process the video stream and performance of AI and send the, the results and the data to, uh, to the NVR in the next uh, stage on the network. So we welcome you to uh, join the BM1880 developer zone, uh, even uh, either through the 96 boards uh, play phone or through our own cell phone uh, community. So we will provide the SDK and the documentations uh, for you to develop the, the AI applications. So that's, uh, that's my talk for today. Uh, so I will be still around at least two days in our booth. So feel free to stop by to watch our demo or ask questions or give us uh, advice. Thank you. <laughs>